from the Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Taylor. They'll be getting a preseason preview of the baseball season. And for the last time with uh, head coach Bobby Pierce. Uh, Bobby, thanks for joining here today. Well, it's always a pleasure, Aaron, and, and you, you got it right. Uh, going into uh, my 33rd college season, 13th here at Troy, uh, final year, and uh, you know the million dollar question I'll go ahead and let you know is, well, what are you gonna do next? Mm -hmm. And uh, my, my patent answer is, I, I don't know and who does. You know, <laughs> when you're going to kind of turn the page or the chapter or change books completely, I don't know if everybody has that figured out when they're going to retire, uh, and I certainly don't, uh, but Kay and I are going to kind of get together, rest up a little bit, and then determine what's next. But I am glad to be here for my, my final show, and um, it, it's been a pleasure working with you over the years. Uh, I'm certainly excited about the upcoming season, um, so I know we're going to talk a little bit about that. And, of course, uh, I would think there's a lot of emotion there, you know, a program that you've had a lot of success with over the years, uh, seen some some big games, uh, going to the regionals, some championships. Uh, but I know you probably got a lot of you know emotions building up to this season. Uh, there's no denying that, um, definitely a fact. Uh, but what I do say is, um, it, it's a good, it, it's different. Every day is a little bit different uh, than all the years before, uh, because I know that you know it's the last day for picture day, which I never have been a big fan <laughs> of, uh, but I did enjoy this one. Uh, so uh, that's the way I'm taking it. it it's a good different. It, it's a embrace the moment, cherish the moment, uh, enjoy the players, enjoy the coaches. Um, it, it, it's been uh, it's been, uh, it definitely has been different, but I'd say in a good way. And of course, you talk about retirement plans, but first off, we got a lot more to talk about before that. You got an entire season between now and retirement. So uh, let's talk about how things are looking. How's the team looking? How's it feel going into this, this preseason? Feels great right now. Uh, I have uh, thoroughly enjoyed this group of young men that we're going to work with the final season. Um, they have uh, come in from day one and, and worked very diligently and uh, and, and I'm seeing improvement in, in those guys. Uh, and as a coach, you know, for, for your team to be a hardworking team and to show improvement, I mean, from uh, the beginning of the fall to now is really all you can ask uh, other than be a good student, be a good person, and those type things. So before we've played a game, I've been uh, very, very uh, excited about this group, how they go about their work, all of the things uh, remind me of some of our better teams. Now, we do have a lot of, of new faces. Uh, we've got to see some of these guys compete, you know, with, with the game on the line and that type of thing. Uh, but, but there's a lot of similarities to this group and how they've gone about it to, as to some of our better teams here at Troy. And, of course, it is the preseason, so it's tough to tell. But how do you think that this team's going to stack up with the rest of conference competition? Well, the league in, in, uh, throughout has uh, had a lot of turnover, meaning uh, a lot of players went into pro ball or, or graduated, uh, as with our team. And then we add two new teams, Georgia Southern and App State, uh, we don't know a great deal about them. I know Georgia Southern has perennial been a, a really solid baseball program, so I think they'll come in and uh, compete well in our league right away. App State I know less about, and I think they've got a younger type team. Uh, but there's a lot of things like that out there with the turnover throughout the league that I think, you know, the preseason polls and all are going to, it's going to be hard to be accurate on those things. Um, and those haven't come out yet, but... Um, I think our team, based on what I'm seeing in our pitching, which looks to be uh, a little deeper than it has been in the mm -hmm. past, uh, I think is going to give us a good chance to be uh, a, a top-of-the-league competitive type team. And then uh, they'll have to determine if they're going to be a championship team. And, of course, they do that by, you know, understanding maturity and having the experience to win close games and uh, winning at home, winning series at home, all, all the things that kind of – go into being a championship club. And, of course, uh, hoping that they get that championship, uh, which will be hosted here at Troy this year. So it's a little bonus there at the end of the season for the team if they do well. So uh, No doubt. Uh, definitely uh, looking forward to hosting the tournament you and I were talking about before we came on uh, the last time we hosted, and what a great event it is. Um, uh, there's a, a lot of great baseball. You have the family night prior to the tournament with the Home Run Derby and the fireworks show. 
Uh, all the academic and athletic awards throughout the season are handed out on that night. And then the eight best, best teams in the, the league come in and start playing from uh, morning until midnight. <laughs> uh, so it, it, it's a great event, great event to host. We're, we're, I, I, I feel great that we're getting hosted my, my final year. It means you don't have to travel. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, it, it's, uh, that, that's going to be a great event. We've got a great schedule. Um, and like I said, looking forward to it. Well, uh, here's hoping that the Trojans are able to do well this season, get themselves there, and uh, maybe continue on uh, to uh, higher places in the postseason ranks this year in your final season. I want to thank you for joining me today on Trojan Talk. Okay, thanks, Aaron. All right, thank you for joining us on today's edition of Trojan Talk.